how to copy in a spot a property from an object to another. So for instance, how to copy a contact properties, like recopy contact drop down, into a company properties, like that. So it's a topic that comes a lot in all the different HubSpot community forums I've been on. But normally, this situation should not happen that much. So basically, HubSpot will give you all the tools to it segments your base without having to do the copies. So, for instance, one of the topics I remember in this room was like, I would like to be able to recopy uh, the deal stage of a deal on a contact. So by, by, by doing that, I will be able to um, segment all my leads with a closed one deal uh, in order to send them like a thank you email or whatever. The thing is, in this specific case, you don't need to do that because a spot will let you do list and segmenting based on associated objects. So if you go on list and you want to do what uh, this specific person wanted in this forum, you just need to click on add a filter and instead of choosing contact properties, you will choose deal properties. This stage is any of closed one. By doing that, a spot will automatically segment all the leads that uh, have an associated deal in the stage of closed one. So you don't need to copy the D stage in your contact uh, records and to create like a messy portal and complicate much more your uh, data organization. But there is like three um, cases where you need to do the copy for your properties. The first one is uh, when you create pop-up forms. Wh what I call pop-up forms is pop-up box, drop-down banner, slide in left box and slide in right box. So basically when you will create this kind of forms, we'll have really limited uh, possibilities to edit this form. And one of the limitations is that they will only let you um, put some contact fields on your form. So when you add a new field, you can see it's only your contact properties. If you want, for instance, on this form to ask for uh, the website URL uh, of the lead or the annual revenue or um, the number of employees that are like uh, company properties, you would need to create these contact properties and copy the value of these contact properties into a company properties. So. If you want to use this kind of forms, you would need to do this copy workflow. Another example really similar is when you do meetings in HubSpot. So basically, if you do meetings in HubSpot, you will have the same issue. When you go to form here, you can only add contact properties. So same goal if you want to make them uh, feel company related information, you will need to create this contact property in, a, uh, in your contacts and uh, create a copy to populate the company field. And the third, um, the for, the third uh, case where you would need to use copy is if you're using a third party integration. So depending on how the third party uh, app uh, created the mapping with HubSpot, some of them will only let you populate a specific um, object property. For instance, I was working with um, online course uh, app that only let me populate contact properties. But at some point, I wanted this contact property, uh, these properties to be uh, populated in company and deals. So I need to do like a copy workflow. Now that's, uh, that we saw the different possibilities and needs for copy in a spot, let's see on how we do that with a simple workflow. So first of all, you would need to create uh, the um, contact property you want to copy. Or let's, uh, for this example, we'll copy a contact property into a company property. And we need to create the exact uh, copy in uh, the other object you want to work with. So when we take the contact property and we edit, we see it's a basic drop down menu with A, B, C, D as an option. You would need to create a company property with the exact same possibilities. Once that's done, you can go to workflows and create the really simple one. <clears throat> if you want to copy a contact property into a company property, you choose company based. If you want to create a company property and copy it to contact property, you choose company based. So basically you choose the 
object base is the one you want to copy to another object. So in our case, we want to uh, to copy a contact property into a company property. So we choose contact based blank workflow next. Then the enrollment the enrollment trigger is really easy. We just need to say that the property we want to copy is known. So in our case, recopy contact drop down is known. So that way, every time this property is populated, it uh, the contact will get enrolled in this workflow. Then for the re-enrollment triggers, it's important to always turn them on because uh, if this property um, has to evolve or being update, you want the copy to be update as well. If you don't uh, activate the re-enrollment, the re you will only have the first value uh, that will be populated in the company properties and is not what we want. So now that's down, just click on plus, choose copy property value, you choose the, co the property you want to copy, you choose the target object, in our case, company. You choose if you want this to be copied in all associated objects or just a primary one. So because we know that a contact can be associated to several companies and a company can be associated to several contacts. So depending on what you want to do, you choose the corresponding value. And for now we need to choose the destination property. So it's recopy company drop down. We save and that's down. Now that's down, we just need to review and publish. So same as every time, you have two possibilities for publishing your workflow. Either you click on no and then only values that will be updated after the, the launch of this workflow will be uh, entering the workflow or yes, and you will choose to enroll all the existing contacts that have this value populated in this workflow. So it depends on what you want to do. You choose and you click on turn on. I hope it was clear. If you want to know more about how to automate your database and your um, SWOT portal management, uh, I create a, um, a private web page in the description that will um, list all the different workflows I present on my different channels. You will find on each uh, of these workflow a video tutorial, a detailed blog post and a to-do list to make sure you can reproduce this workflow in your company. I hope it was clear and I wish you a great day.